So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on the top 30 mispronounced words in English. If you haven't watched that yet, here's the link. And this video did really well. I got a lot of comments from students asking me to make similar content. So that's what I've done. Here on this piece of paper, I have a list of 25 additional words that are very difficult to pronounce. And I'm going to go through them one by one, showing you how to pronounce them accurately. But before we begin, if this is your first time to my channel, hi, I'm teacher Luke and I make English content just like this to help students like you improve your English. So if this is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and hit like on this channel. So the first one is a little bit controversial because people can pronounce it in different ways. I pronounce this word with just two syllables. Jewelry. Jewelry. But other people pronounce it with three syllables. Jewelry. Jewelry. Both are fine, so you choose whichever one's easiest for you. But it's important to know that you put the stress on the first syllable. In a sentence, she has many pieces of jewelry. I don't wear jewelry of any kind. The second word on this list can be a bit tricky because the spelling and the pronunciation don't match exactly because this word has a silent syllable. If you want to learn more about silent syllables, check out this lesson up here. So this word has three syllables. Vegetable. Vegetable. Some students pronounce this with four syllables, but that's not correct. It only has three. One more time. Vegetable. For example, I grow all kinds of vegetables in my garden. Number three is a similar problem. This word also has a silent syllable. We pronounce this word as comfortable. How many syllables? Right, only three. Comfortable. Comfortable. My new shoes are not very comfortable. Number four is probably my favorite food. This fish is pronounced salmon. Salmon. Did you notice something here? Right, the L is not pronounced. So in writing, we write it with an L, but when we're speaking, we don't say that L. It's just salmon. In a sentence, Canada is well known for salmon fishing. Number five is a bit tricky because there are three different S ending sounds in English. Again, if you want to learn about these S ending sounds, click this link above. So we pronounce this word clothes. Clothes. The last syllable is a weak Z. Clothes. A lot of students pronounce this as clothes, but that's incorrect. It's always just clothes. In a sentence, I bought some new clothes for the trip. Number six is architecture. Architecture. How many syllables did you hear? This one has four syllables, so it's quite a long word for English. Architecture. Architecture. I'm not a big fan of modern architecture. Number seven is a very long word, so it's pretty tricky to pronounce. We pronounce this like enthusiastic, enthusiastic, enthusiastic. So it has five syllables. And note that the stress for this word is on the fourth syllable, as, enthusiastic, enthusiastic. For example, she's a very enthusiastic student. Eight is particularly, particularly. Stress goes on the second syllable, particularly. The traffic is really bad today, particularly in the city center. Nine is analysis, analysis. This word has four syllables and notice that the fourth syllable is not pronounced I, it's pronounced a. Uh. One more time, analysis, analysis. For example, if you're doing some research, you might say, we need to conduct an analysis on this data set. Now, 10 is the verb form of analysis, and it is analyze, analyze, analyze. Some students pronounce this as analyze because in the spelling it has an A, but when we're speaking, we just pronounce it analyze. One more time, analyze. For example, the researchers have analyzed the data set. Number 11 is a word that's very commonly used at the doctors and it's pronounced prescription, prescription. 
This word has three syllables and the stress goes on the second syllable, prescription. For example, this medicine is not available without a prescription. You might use number 12 at a hotel, and this one is difficult to pronounce because the spelling is nothing like the pronunciation. We pronounce this word as sweet. Sweet. The executive suite is on the top floor. 13 is a word I use a lot, and it is literally. Literally. This word has four syllables. lit uh, r, -ly. Literally. And the stress is on the first syllable. There are literally hundreds of prizes to be won. 13 is this adorable animal, and you can find lots of these in London. We pronounce this squirrel. Squirrel. So a lot of students find this difficult because of the consonant cluster. That is, the different consonants that follow each other. So in the first syllable, we pronounce it squi, squi. And the second syllable is just roll, squi, roll, squirrel. One more time, squirrel. For example, there are surprisingly a lot of squirrels in London. 14 is a mistake because a lot of students put the stress in the wrong place. This one is pronounced dessert. Dessert. Where did you hear the stress? Right, on the second syllable. Dessert. Dessert. If you put the stress on the first syllable, it sounds more like desert, which is not correct. Of course, a desert is the place with lots and lots of sand. This word is just pronounced dessert. Let's get some ice cream for dessert. 15 is specific. Specific. The stress goes on the second syllable. Sp, sif, thick. Specific. Some students pronounce this like specific, but that's not right. The first syllable is pronounced sp. Specific. I gave you specific instructions. 16 is tricky because it has a silent letter. When we spell it, we write it with an L, but when we speak it, we do not pronounce the L at all. It's just pronounced yolk. Yolk. Are egg yolks bad for you? 17 also has a silent letter. The P letter is not pronounced. This word is pronounced raspberry. Raspberry. Three syllables. Raspberry. And the stress goes on the first syllable. Raspberry. I love raspberry jam on toast. 18 is pronounced alcohol. Alcohol. Not alcohol. Alcohol. The second syllable uses the shua, so it takes a weak form. And the stress goes on the first syllable. Alcohol. Alcohol. Do you drink alcohol? I don't drink much alcohol anymore. 19 is unfortunately. Unfortunately. The stress goes on the second syllable here. Unfortunately. One more time. Unfortunately. I can't make it to the party. Unfortunately. 20 is an advanced word, but this word has a really tricky pronunciation. It's pronounced facetious. 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 Stress goes on the second syllable. We use facetious when you're making a joke at someone else's expense. That just means you're making fun of someone in a very negative way. This is what facetious means. For example, stop being facetious. This is a serious issue. 21 is walk. Walk. Now, of course, I'm British, so I pronounce this like walk. Americans pronounce it a bit differently, but I can't do that properly, so I'm not even going to try. But it is, in British English, walk. Walk. My baby is learning to walk. 22 is the word that is really commonly confused with walk, especially in British English. So 22, we pronounce this word, work. Work. Remember, 21 was walk. This one is work. Walk and work. The difference is in the vowel. Or and er. Uh. Walk and work. For example, I love my work. Now, 24 is a great one when you're talking about food. This one is pronounced lettuce. Lettuce. Now, of course, the spelling looks like it should be pronounced lettuce. But actually, the last syllable is pronounced is. Lettuce. 
For example, I need to pop to the shop to pick up some lettuce and some other things. And last one, number 25, we pronounce this Arctic. Arctic. Just two syllables. Arctic. Arctic. Sadly, the Arctic is melting really quickly. Okay, so those were 25 commonly mispronounced words. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll be back with another video next week, so I'll see you then. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.